the mastermind behind your public library of the 21st century, our very own city librarian, Mr. Martin Gomez. Yeah. Yes. Is this for real? I don't know. You tell me. So, Martin. Carefully. Yeah. This is our library, but it's it's your library. You're the you're the city librarian. Yes, I am. Yeah. And uh, what does the city librarian do exactly? I'm the custodian, actually. Oh. The oh. custodian of the collections. Yeah. The steward. In city parlance, however, I am the general manager, which means that I'm responsible for 72 branch libraries, the central library, working with uh, people like you, <laughs> uh, and a lot of great people who care a lot about what goes on in the city. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's what I do. Yeah. I have all these questions written down on little note cards, oh. just like late night talk show hosts do. You can't look at them. Where's my cup? Would you like a cup? I always want to know what's in the cup. Um, well, we have clear glasses. I know. Would you like a glass of water? No. No, are you sure? Well, Maybe for like the cup. Okay. Because I'm serving water today. <laughs> Times are tough. I wonder how you would. You know, just, I mean, I, I feel like there are a lot of people out there who maybe don't think about the public library or don't feel it's relevant uh, to their lives. And I, I wonder, you know, how you would describe the, the role of the, the 21st century library in a place like Los Angeles, a big city. Well, I've been doing library work ever since I was in the seventh grade, uh, really. I, I worked at the... Uh, my middle school library uh, in Compton, California. And uh, we really haven't changed too much, by the way. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying that in, in jest. The, you know, my, my fantasy when I was going to library school uh, was that I wanted to drive a bookmobile. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do it in the four corners section of the United States, mm -hmm. Colorado. Colorado, Maryland, and... No, no. <laughs> so now I'm on the corner of Fifth and Flower. And the bookmobile that I have in mind these days is actually parked over at the Mid Valley Branch. And it's uh, unfortunately I'm in mothballs, but I'm looking for a sponsor. I would love to uh, have the bookmobile turned into a low rider. <laughs> and we can take it out on parades into the neighborhoods, and it'd be a great attraction, don't you think so? Which, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, so if there's any sponsors out there, we'd love to do that. But you know, the library has changed a lot, and I think one of the biggest things that's changed us is technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are, um, you know, I think better off for it, frankly. Uh, the public's better off for it, and one of the things we do here that's really fabulous is provide access to uh, computers so that people can do research, or they can look for jobs, and. It's, it's a wonderful thing. We'll still have our book collections, of course. And by the way, um, people are using our library tremendously. We had over 17 people visit the public library last year. 17 people? 17 million. Oh, 17 million people. <laughs> That's what Jay Leno said. <laughs> well, you know, oh, yeah. just, get, just getting straight. Yeah, 17 million people visited the 73, 73 locations of the Los Angeles right. Public Library last year. That's a few people. Mm -hmm. yeah. A couple, but a couple people visited it like five million times, right? Yeah. It's people walking in and out of the door counter. Like, yeah. Yeah. Employees going to lunch. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is, what, is Google gonna like uh, end the library? Hey, Google's a threat to everybody. Yeah. You know? I mean, they're taking pictures of me on the street, and yeah, there you are. I've uh, seen that. Yeah. But you know what? Google has actually uh, provided um, 
us with some challenges in the library, but you know what happens is that people are coming to the library more prepared. Mm -hmm. They've already done some of their preliminary research. Uh, so there, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the library these days that's not just about the traditional library, which you may or may not know about, but we're doing a lot of uh, after school homework tutoring. For example, a lot of kids come to the library. Right. One week or one, one day, we took a snapshot of how many people are in the library after school, how many kids across the city. There were 90,000 kids who visited the library after school. Isn't that amazing? This is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. What is, so libraries and librarians are not going to go the way of the dodo necessarily. They're going to stick around, they're going to adapt to technology, they're going to... Well, one of the reasons I got into this business is that uh, the library profession is actually very adaptable, <coughs> very flexible. Uh, in part because, and we'll, we'll, we'll still be relevant as long as we stay connected to the community. That's the, one of the great things about the public library community, that we stay really in touch with what's going on in our neighborhoods and trying to tailor our services so that uh, we stay relevant. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go the way of the dodo. No, no, right. no way. Right. And the principles, how would you describe the sort of principles that the public library stands for? Because I, I feel like those are... Yeah. Well, one of the things people don't think about is that the library really is a, uh, uh, about democracy. By having open doors, by having uh, all points of view in our collections, we make it possible for people to basically make up their own minds about different matters. So yeah. it's a great opportunity for people to come and learn on their own. Or if you're, you know, one of the things I think about a lot about is <clears throat> we're really in the knowledge business. And we're not like cranking it out with a meat grinder, but uh, people come in, uh, whether it's the academic library, or the public library, or school library, they come in and they do research about a topic and they gain new knowledge through that process. So whether it's through the computer, we provide a lot of databases, for example, in our collections, or the books that we have, or the programs that people attend, they're gaining new knowledge. And that new knowledge isn't just in and of itself, for itself. It's also to create a stronger community. Yeah. So the more you know, people who have uh, information, uh, more knowledge, the stronger our communities are. Yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and the more we celebrate something like the public library, and uh, the more we celebrate the, those basic principles, I, you know, those those basic fundamental sort of human rights, you know, free free access to information and ideas that challenge and inspire, regardless of race, class, gender, sexual right. persuasion, anything. Right. Right. Whether you're homeless or Eli Broad. God bless Eli Broad. And well, I haven't homeless. seen Eli here in a while. Well, I haven't seen Eli here in a while, but I've I seen know. all of my other friends here. I saw him down at lower level three recently. Really? Like, yeah. Good night. So. He was carrying a lot of bags. <laughs> um, what can a concerned, let, let's say, what can a concerned